Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to compile and install WX widgets on Ubuntu. I'm also going to show you how to set up a code blocks project. Okay, so the first thing we'll have to do is open a terminal. And we'll need to install a couple of packages. We'll need to install code blocks and build essential. The build essential package installs everything we need to compile a C++ application. We'll need to run the command sudo apt install code blocks and build essential. And we'll put in our password. And we'll want to enter Y for yes. We also need to have the GTK library installed on our system. Since I don't know which version of GTK is available on Ubuntu, I'm going to have to do a search for it. So we need to do apt search. libgtk dot star dash dev okay so here's our command and here's the gtk library so it's libgtk dash three dash dev so we'll copy that. And we'll install it with sudo apt install. Okay, now that that's done, we can go ahead and close the terminal. And now we need to install WX widgets. To do that, we'll have to go to the WX widgets website and download the source code. The website is www.wxwidgets.org. And we'll go to Downloads. We're going to skip over the development release. And we're going to go to the stable release. And we'll want to download the source code for Linux or Mac. And we'll extract that to the desktop. And now we need to open up the folder. And we'll open a terminal inside this folder. And now we need to run the command dot forward slash configure. The configure command will generate a make file for us. And once that's done, we can go ahead and compile WX widgets with the make command.
Compiling WX widgets will take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, everybody, now that WX widgets has finished compiling, we can install it with the command sudo make install. And we'll need our password again. Okay, now that that's done, we can go ahead and get rid of the terminal. And we can get rid of this window as well. Now that we have WX widgets installed on the system, we can go ahead and create our code blocks project. So we'll open up code blocks. We'll need to select OK. And we'll create a new project. So File, New, Project. I'm going to create an empty project. And we'll just click Next. And we'll need to give the project a name. And I'm going to put the project on the desktop. Click Next, click Finish, and we'll need to add a main.cpp file to the project. So go to File, New, File, New, File, C++ Source, Go, Next, Next, we'll need to give the file a name, which is going to be main.cpp. And we need to tell Coblox where to put the file. And that's going to be in the WX example folder. We'll need to select all. And then we can click Finish. And now you should have a main.cpp file in your project. OK, we'll need to add some source code to the project. So let's go to the WX Widgets website. And we'll go to the Hello World example. Scroll to the bottom and copy this code. And we'll just paste that code into our main.cpp file. Okay, now if we build this, you'll see we get an error. So what we need to do is we need to open the terminal. And we need to run the command wx-config dash dash cxx flags. This gives us all of the compiler flags we need for our project. So we'll want to copy all of this. And then we'll go back to code blocks. And we'll go to project. Build options. Make sure the name of your project is selected over here in the corner. And we'll go to other compiler options and paste in those flags. Hit OK. And now we can compile this. And now we get an undefined reference error. That's because we haven't told WX widgets which libraries to link against.
So open up the terminal again. And we're going to run the wxconfig command. But this time we're going to pass a different flag. We're going to pass the dash dash libs flag. This tells us the location of the WX widgets libraries, and it also tells us which libraries are available. The ones we need are base and core. So we'll copy this. We don't need the dash L, but we'll copy everything else. And we'll go to project, build options, make sure the name of your project is selected, go to linker settings, add, and paste in that library. Okay? And we need the core library as well. So go back to your terminal and copy the core library. And we'll go to add and paste that in. Click OK. And now we can compile and run the project. And there it is. So you notice that we have a terminal here. I actually like a terminal in debug mode, but I don't like a terminal in release mode. So I'm going to go to Project, Properties, Build Targets, Release, and I'm going to switch Console Application to GUI application. Click OK, and then run it again, and the terminal's gone. OK? All right, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.